Welcome to another video. Today's video is gonna be a bridal hair and makeup tutorial featuring a wig from my first wigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I achieved the bridal hairstyle you saw in the intro as well as the makeup. This is my first time trying any wig from my first wig and I must say I'm really impressed by the quality. I did not have to do any thin whatsoever to the hairline the hair came already plucked and i literally had to do nothing this is awesome because it usually takes me about a good 45 minutes to pluck hairlines out of the front row so i was really really impressed the hair was so soft and the hairline was just to die for so right now i'm just gonna define the hairline i'm using my la girl pro concealer in the color fawn i'm using that to match the hairline to my skin tone so now i'm gonna two strands with both sides of my hair and as you guys can see I actually left out a little strand of hair I left out that tiny bit of hair so you can frame my face and just give the hair a lot more character I left like three strands of hair out and I'm gonna just two strand twist my left side as well so now I'm gonna secure the hair with some rubber bands and bobby pins Next, you're gonna want to fluff out the hair just so that the twists are not so small looking. This just gives it a little more volume. I'm gonna put everything in a ponytail and I'm also gonna secure with bobby pins as I go. You guys, you're gonna need rubber bands and bobby pins for this tutorial. Lots of them. So now I'm gonna twist whatever is left of the hair. I'm gonna twist that and then I'm gonna wrap it into itself. As you guys see me do here i'm just gonna wrap it into itself i'm gonna secure that with some bobby pins and we're good to go and then i also went back in and i covered up the wig because you guys could see my wig cap before but i just solved that problem the baby hairs you see in front are actually the hair from the wig itself my sideburns are my natural hair but the baby hair you see me do right now is from the wig itself I'm using my got to be glue to gel this down. Yeah, let's get that swoop. Let's get that swoop, baby. I'm gonna trim the hair that I left out just so that it's not too long. This frames my face a lot better. So now let's jump to the makeup tutorial. Why did I sound so musical? Anyways, I'm gonna prime my face with my Benefit Primer. I'm also gonna go in with my MAC Studio Fix and my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Blend, blend, blend like a pro. You guys, I bought this brush. This brush you see me using right now. It's a new brush I just got and that brush is goals it's the expert face brush i heard um kesa kobe i think that's how you say her name she used it in her video and i loved it and i bought it it made my foundation blend so well i was impressed with how good my foundation blended i'm gonna conceal my eyelids with the la girl pro concealer in fawn so for this makeup look i'm using my abh modern resin <laughs> modern renaissance palette oh my god i can pronounce but i'm gonna use my abh modern renaissance palette and i'm just using that to create a super simple extra natural makeup look okay you guys i totally totally apologize for the different lighting situations this is what happens when you use natural light to film like the sun just be going in and out and that's affecting the whole quality of the video but honestly i prefer the way my makeup looks and i just prefer the way the quality of the video is when i use natural light versus artificial light i don't know i just prefer this let me know what you guys think So 
To highlight my face, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fun. I set my face with my RCMA No Color Powder. Now I'm going in with my ABH Contour Palette. I'm gonna use that to contour my cheekbones, my jawline, and my forehead, as well as my nose. I hope I'm not talking too fast. Sometimes I feel like I just like talk too slow or talk too fast and never in between. Okay, anyways, contour, 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 contour. Now I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Coral Blush. This blush is like three bucks from CVS. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with my Becca Opal Highlighter. This highlighter gives me joy, you guys. It's so pretty and just like very natural looking. This is a perfect highlighter for bridal makeup looks. Full stop, hands down, okay? So now I'm gonna go in with the same color I used in my crease. I'm gonna use that underneath my waterline. Yeah. Now I'm gonna line my lips with a ColourPop Peach Liner. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my lips with my favorite nude lipstick of all time. This is MAC Freckle Tone. And then everything went wrong. Do you guys see what happened? My lipstick broke. <gasps> Oh, this lipstick was 16 bucks, but it's okay. I've had it for three years, so we're not gonna cry too much about it. As if that was not enough, I also smudged my nose with my mascara wand. It's okay, the makeup look turned out really good. Now I'm gonna set my face with Scandinavia Setting Spray, and then I'm just adjusting everything. This hair accessory is by Tool in Chantilly. They sell bridesmaids dresses and bridal accessories. So you guys should check them out. All the info will be in the description bar. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed filming this. I loved editing it too. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my other videos. Bye-bye.